Hey, it's me, Bad B. I'm back. My doctor told me last week that because I have a compromised immune system, I should get the COVID vaccine. So it would have been my fifth booster. And he said, just get it a couple of days after chemo. And I get chemo weekly, so it has to be halfway between Thursdays. So I decided to get it on the Monday. That was the soonest I could get it in when I booked it in on Thursday afternoon. Anyway, so obviously you can't get it when you're sick. <laughs> I felt fine. I went to get the vaccine Monday afternoon. And Monday afternoon, I was just kind of tired, but it had been a tiring day at work. And Tuesday morning when I woke up, I was fine. Then I got to work and I just felt worse and worse throughout the day. Ended up going home at about 11. And then just that whole day, I was rubbish. Had a fever, had the shakes, body aches, just everything was horrible. And I was taking the Kanonada, Japanese acetaminophen. I guess basically like Panadol. It kind of helped, then really. Wednesday again, like I felt pretty rubbish and had a slight fever. Not as bad as Tuesday, but I wasn't well, so I didn't go to work again. But you know, Wednesday night and then Thursday morning, I was like, okay, I feel, I'm feeling better. Hopefully I can get chemo on Thursday. I go in, I do my bloods. It hurt, <laughs> as always. But I was drinking so much water, almost a liter of water just before my blood. I did the nurse check and you know, I told her I got the COVID vaccine on Monday and then she like checked her little handbook. And I was like, yeah, you know, Dr. Hayashi told me to get it a couple of days after chemo. And she was like, oh, okay, do you have a fever? And I was like, no, but you know, Tuesday and Wednesday, I was kind of like, ugh. And then she's like, oh, okay, so your blood test is back. Like the results are back. You should just go see the doctor. And like, obviously Dr. Hayashi's away at that conference in Chicago. So I had some other doctor. I think her name was Dr. Yoshida. I don't know if she spoke English because we spoke Japanese. But she's like, so your infection marker is like way up. Actually, I'm not sure if it's white blood cell count or infection marker, but whatever it is. Or she's like, it's like, it's really dangerous to give you chemo. We're not going to give you chemo. She's like, yeah, let's, let's not. <laughs> Her exact words were like, yamitai must. Like, I think we should quit. <laughs> and she's like, you know, just taking a one week holiday from it isn't bad. You're fine. And she's like, how are you feeling? Are you sure you don't feel bad? Are you sure you don't have a fever? And I was like, yeah, I feel fine. Like, I don't know. And she's like, how, how are you, how do you not have a fever? How are you like, okay? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so pretty disappointed I can't get chemo because it pushes everything back. This was supposed to be my 11th out of 12 TPHs, like Taxol, Pegida, Herceptin. Next week was supposed to be my last giant chemo with Taxol, Pegida, and Herceptin. But obviously, like, we don't know what's going on. See how it goes, I guess. And she's like, you know, if you start to feel bad, if you start to get a fever over 38, she's like, you call us. I'm going to give you these antibiotics. And I was like, I'm not going to let the pneumonia thing happen again. Where this unknown doctor gave me penicillin, which I'm allergic to. So I was just like, she's like, I'm going to give you antibiotics. And I was like, I'm allergic to penicillin. And she's like, don't worry, this isn't penicillin. You'll be okay. Anyway, so she gave me some, there we go, uh, Levofloxacin. I don't think I said that right. Levofloxacin. Anyway, <laughs> um, there's five of them in the one course of anybody. And I'm supposed to take one every day after breakfast. And she's like, now don't worry if you don't take them. But you know, if you do take them, just let us know. Just call us and say, is it okay to have it? Um, anyway, yeah, just call us. And I was like, okay, like things must be kind of serious if you're giving me this right now. But anyway, so she basically sent me home, couldn't get chemo. Now, like I feel mostly okay. Like I don't have a fever, but yeah, my throat's starting to get a bit scratchy. I'm not sure what it is, but I checked in this medicine is supposed to help cure, I guess, pneumonia and I think bronchitis, some other things, I'll, I'll look it up. I looked it up just before, but I forgot. So that sucks. Chemo is pushed back another week. And like, obviously I was planning to go home. I guess that's pushed back now and like feeling pretty bad about it. I'm not gonna lie. And I drank all that water too. <laughs> I guess it's always good to stay hydrated. But yeah, so stay tuned. Let's hope I can get chemo next week. Well, let's hope I can get big chemo next week and then regular chemo after. I don't know. I'm not sure how this works.